Nassau in the Bahamas. Swings and it's a high pop up foul ground. Third base side, hour back. And Taribio coming over, Auerbach leaps up against the railing, makes the catch, falls over the railing into his own team's dugout, and the out is recorded. One of the better plays I've ever seen a catcher make. Brett Auerbach, catching for just the fifth time this year, leaped into the railing and tumbled over it after making the catch. You think he doesn't trust his teammates? That is one of the greatest defensive plays in the history of this venue. No question about it. Brett Auerbach, an amazing catch, and he got an appreciative round of applause from the crowd here at Ron Tonkin Field. What a play by Auerbach. His teammates gave him a soft landing. Watching the replay again, he jumped up, railing was just above his belt. He made the catch, and then his upper thighs hit the railing, and he teetered over it, and his teammates did their best to soften. Right-handed hitter, Peralta's a left-hander, and the first pitch is hit in the air to right center field. Well struck, back goes Reyes, he'll look up, and it's one to nothing just like that. An opposite field in the bleachers, home run by Mason Wynn in that leadoff spot. And... That puts the Redbirds on top quickly. One pitch, one swing, one run. It's one to nothing. He almost attended Davidson. Here's a swing and a grounder through the middle. That'll be a base hit. Coming in to score is Barrera. They're going to send Pinder. The throw is going to be cut off at second by Gonzalez. It's a two run single. And now it's nine to three. And Wynn has three RBIs now. Long, loud strike. So 0 oh 2. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner over Mankata. This one's fair, and it's going to go down to the corner. Bouncing around the corner, and as long as he's going to play it back in, but Wynn has a double. He is homered, singled, and now doubled. Payoff pitch is crushed to left field. This one is gone. Trevor Story with a monster three run shot over the main monster in left field. He extends the Sea Dogs lead it six to nothing in the bottom of the fifth inning. How about Trevor's story clears the bases and extends the Sea Dogs lead. The wind up from Selvage, not allowed to move in his feet, 2-2. Two -two. Line hard to left center field that'll get down for a base hit. Over to cut it off, Spencer Jones, a wide turn at first for Ramirez, but he'll hold there as Jones on court. a one-hop throw right to Eduardo Toriaba at the second base back. The one one Ramirez shoots the opposite way down the right field line. The whirl pass to Billy, go towards the wall. Ramirez rounds first, and he'll decelerate into second base with a stand-up double, two for today for him. There to second and Ramirez, who's got speed. There he goes in motion, swing and a miss, throw down a third, and Ramirez is in safely, headlong dive. It's on its way. Ramirez, bouncer off the glove of Selvage. Cowles has to redirect, charges in, throwing a hop and a first, Henson picked it, but Ramirez beat it out. Struck out nine as the first pitch, singled on the ground, back up the middle. And into center by Ives Ramirez, who's had himself quite a Friday night. That's his fourth hit. Lopage just falls on Sunday. Runner in motion to pitch a called strike. Throw it to second base. It's in and out of the glove of Torrey Alba. So Ramirez has his second stolen base of the night. 2 0 runner in motion. Pitch outside for a ball. Throw to third. And it's not in time as the tag by Cabrera was applied to Lugo. Ramirez, I'd say. And it was kept on there. Is something very important. 3-2, hit on the ground to third base. Couple of hops and past Marcos Cabrera just eluded right over his glove and into left field for a base hit. Alex Ramirez, 3-2. Line drive, left field, falling fast and in for a base hit in front of Anthony Garcia. Break thrown on at third base. Garcia's throw cut off by the third baseman. Marcos Cabrera on its way home. Single for Alex Ramirez. He is now six for six tonight. Hats off to Ramirez for that performance. Here's the one two. Swing, fly ball to center field. Breaking in is Gilbert. Gilbert dives, and Drew Gilbert makes the catch. What a play by Drew Gilbert, sprinting in from center and saving 
possibly a run here with two outs in the seventh. He ends the frame with that dynamic play from the hook center fielder. Exciting ball game tonight. Some big hits and uh, some fantastic love work. 1 0 pitch. Johnson grounds one hard towards second and through into center field. Torero's going to try to go first to third. He will do so standing up. Back to back. Hard hit ground ball split the middle. Hit 99.7 off the bat of Johnson. His 0 1 pitch. Johnson takes off. Breaking ball misses away. No throw down to second instead of throw to third, but Torero retreats safely. It's a stolen base for Johnson. And now there's a pair in scoring position here for Rodolfo. Termar's fifth swipe bag of the year. Next pitch, cross tie and deep to right. Get out of here. Back to back, Jax. Let it ride, touch them all. Home run number 12 of the year for Termar Johnson. He ties the team lead and makes it nine to nothing Marauders. Another no doubt blast in the inning. 104.1, 390 feet off the bat of Johnson. Man, this is fun. A one pitch, grounded hard up the middle. Martinez dives after it, knocks it down, throwing from his knees, not in time. Infield single for Termar. 12 homers, 53 ribbies. The pitch, line drive, bullet into right. That's gonna get down and score black easily. And just like that, the Shuckers have back-to-back -back hits and a 1-0 lead, 1-1 one, one pitch. Deep drive to right field, back is Hernandez on the track at the wall. It is gone. A two-run shot for Jackson Churio. And the Shuckers take a 4-0 lead here in the second. Well, here's Jackson Churio as a 1-0 line to right field. is going to split the gap. Churio will hold the first with a two-out base knock.